Well, it is a festival so far. I mean, cars getting lined up at, you know, and you probably had a line at the gate opening, you know, at 7 a.m. But yeah, we're treating it like kind of like a festival. We brought a cooler and, and, some, and some chairs and we're just gonna kind of hang out. What cooler place to hang out, right? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I'm a retired uh, freelance photographer and oddly enough, I didn't bring any kind of camera with me because I kind of want to just enjoy the experience, you know. Uh, I think the only thing I can't, yeah, this is it. Uh, so uh, that's the only camera I have. Uh, I'm not going to shoot it when the uh, uh, earth is moving across or anything like that. I'm just going to sit and watch it. So I think that'll be cool. Kind of a holiday for me, you know. When we saw that Dayton was going to be included in the totality, it's like, hey. It's a great excuse. We can come see it again. Yeah. Love being here. You know, history nuts. I'm, I'm a bit of a World War II nerd, so. The outside memorial garden. Yeah. I absolutely love that. It's got all of the, the depth and gravity to make it real. You connect to the, not just, you know, the dates in the history book mm -hmm. and, the, and the facts, but it's the people who were involved. Yeah. The slice of the past, you get the touch to the people who were there. What's the, uh, the reasons that you came to the Air Force Museum? Um, number one was the, for the eclipse, and second was for the museum. So it, this museum has been on my list of places to visit for a while, and it just happens, you know, do two things at once is why I look at it. I'm from actually Kingston, Georgia, which is in the northwest state, uh, corner of the state. I just drove by car. Uh, my grandfather, he was in the Army Air Corps during World War II, flew out of India. Um, so we, we, we have aviation in our family. I mean, I worked on helicopters in the Marine Corps. My cousin's a pilot in the Navy. And so, but he, him being a, working in aircraft in his time in World War II kind of lit a seed in us because I've always been fascinated with aircraft. I love aircraft. And so I try to go to air shows all the time and stuff like that. It just never made it this far north. So.